Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're here for this Valentine's Day vampy makeup tutorial inspired by Kylie Jenner's Valentine collection pictures. And this is a collaboration with some girls from the Facebook group Beauty and the Vlog. And here you have some teasers of the girls that are involved. There are more than six of us and um, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoy. I'll start this look with the Zoeva Waterproof Cream Eyeliner in Magic Moment. This is a beautiful burgundy red eyeliner that I'm using now as a base, applied with a stiff synthetic brush. Next, I am going to use this matte eyeshadow by Suva Beauty called Hookah to set the cream shadow as well as blending out the edges. As you can see here, I waited a bit too long to blend out the edges and now I'll have to work a bit harder, adding uh, more shadow to the edges to blend it. Here I'm taking Colourpop Get Out, one of their new pressed eyeshadows, which I have been loving. I'll put uh, my review in the description box below. They're really good. And uh, keep blending and blending and blending. You want uh, a blown up, uh, type of look but not too high up in the brow because the original look isn't too blown out let's say it's quite concentrated around her eyes I'm uh, keep going in with these two shade hookah and get out to intensify the outer corner and help with blending of that harsh line that I left because I didn't blend the cream uh, eyeliner fast enough. I did on the other eye somehow and on this eye I forgot. I was nervous. I was recording for you guys. So a lot of blending, a lot of adding color to the crease and then blending it out to um, camouflage that harsh line. And you can see me go back and forth with a denser brush to apply the color and the fluffier brush to blend. And that is always the trick whenever you are um, applying eyeshadow to apply the color, make sure you have a good density of the color and then going back in to blend. On the lid, I am applying this beautiful eyeshadow from Nabla called Grenadine and uh, this has a beautiful red dark base with a strawberry pomegranate type of sheen on top and on this dark base it really pops out a beautiful pink. I was uh, really happy with the combination of these two. Next, with an eye pencil, this is Joya by Neve Cosmetics. I apply it in the inner corner to give this nice and very bright highlight. This is, as you can see, a pinky highlight and not my classic um, golden champagne. And it suits this look very well. Next, with Makeup Geek's Plumeria, I uh, go and smudge the outer uh, part of the eye on the lower lash line and then intensify with velvet line in Bombay Black by Nabla. Of course before it sets blend it out both by itself and with Hookah by Suva Beauty again and this really gives a more intense and defined look. You can see the difference is already huge from before and I bring this approximately to two thirds of the eye towards the inner corner but not completely in because I want to apply grenadine again on the inner corner but underneath the highlight. That is a little bit what is uh, going on in Kylie's picture and I think it actually looks very nice and it makes the eye look bigger. So intensifying grenadine underneath the highlight and around the highlight let's say, it makes the eyes also look a bit more open and a bit bigger if you do this trick. Next, applying false lashes. First time on camera, I apologize if it looks a bit awkward. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, as usual, my favorite, and I look so incapable of doing this. I swear I wanted to cut it out, but I said, well, if there's other people who need to start, they better see that it's actually quite a struggling process for newbies. And uh, once I'm happy with how they look, I go in with mascara, to blend in my own lashes and make them darker and to uh, lengthen and darken the lower lash line. And here we have the finished look, the eyes. I think it looks 
beautiful i wasn't really expecting much but this look is beautiful moving on to the face i'm highlighting with the makeup geeks and Kathleen Light's highlighter palette and this central pinky shade is called Starlight. I love, love, love this. It was in my favorites recently because I don't usually use pink highlights, but this one is so flattering universally, even for someone with warm tones like me. And yeah, more highlights. I don't know. I cannot uh, do without. And for the first time now, I'm trying on the top of my nose. I am usually quite oily, so, so I avoid this, but I think it looks quite flattering in the, in the end. A little, little dab on the Cupid's bow to make it pop. And time for blush. This is from Nabla Cosmetics, one of their blossom blushes called Impulse. It's a beautiful pink, but it's not very cool toned. It's quite, yeah, I would say warm to neutral um, pink. And I want to bring it as far up as possible. It's not meant to be a super wearable look anyways. For the lips, I am using Colourpop's Ultra Matte Lip in Notion. This is a beautiful shade. I never know how to classify it. It's more pink than uh, any of my reds, like Avenue or Lime Crime uh, Wicked but it's uh, definitely more red than any of my berries which are for example beat it by lime crime or even rebel by mac this is definitely more red and warmer and i think on my lips it looks um, much different than what it swatches actually here is a little bit of my struggle in applying liquid lipstick correctly um, not a struggle but it takes time and patience i had a lot of people asking, how do you do it in one time and directly from the tube? Patience, patience, patience. And going back in where needed, of course. This is uh, the last little bit of the look and it's a little heart that she is wearing. I am taking a small elf liner brush and applying again Notion on my cheek in the little shape of a heart. And I think this is such a cute touch, not necessarily for a date night, but I don't know, I like drawing things. I used to go out with stars, uh, black stars going out. And you can see also here, the difference between the shade on my um, cheekbone and on my lip. On my lip, it just pulls out so much more uh, of the red. And here is the final look, trying to recreate these uh, hair, that she has. I didn't want to curl it per se, but um, I like how my side part works with this look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other girls in this um, collaboration. Here you can find the playlist and give it a like if you liked it. I will see you in the next one. Bye!